السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر لرنرس اسٹوڈینٹس آف انٹرمیڈیٹ کلاس اینڈ عالم فسٹ ایئر اینڈ سیکنڈ ایئر ویلکم ٹو مائی این ادر کلاس اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ون آف دا موسٹ امپارٹینٹ فائمس نیمڈ سپٹمبر فاسٹ نائنٹین ہنڈریڈ تھرٹی نائن بائی ڈبلو ایس I, we have to know about the following things. We have to do the following things for better understanding the poem. So at first our aims and objectives. At first our aims and objectives. What we are going to discuss, we have to know dear learners. At first we have to know about the poet and his remarkable, notable works and contribution. Secondly, we have to discuss the understanding poetry. We have to discuss understanding poetry. And thirdly, we have to read the poem, find out the difficult word and try to gauge their meanings and synonyms. And fourthly, we have to read and paraphrase the poem. We have to read and paraphrase the poem. That means we have to make a detailed analysis of the poem. And fifthly, we have to discuss the summary of the poem. And finally and sixthly, we have to write out, write down the central theme of the poem. So dear learners, these are the aims and objectives we are going to discuss step by step. So be serious and take notes. Then they are learn us our own map activity. Then our own map activity. We have to do our own map activity for better understanding the poem. At first, brainstorming or mind mapping. Brainstorming and mind mapping. Secondly, syndicate method. And thirdly and finally, we have to know about the, we find out more. We have to find out more. You are told to find out more about our poet W.S. Auden from Wikipedia on the internet. So these are the form of activities we have to do for better understanding the poem. Then learning outcomes. learning outcomes what we are going to pick up from the poem what we will learn from the poem after going through the poem what we will learn from the poem what we are going to pick up from the poem we have to know our learning outcomes so dear learners after going through the poem after reading the poem at first we will be able to know about the poet and his remarkable notable works and contribution secondly After reading the poem, we will be able to discuss the understanding poetry. And thirdly, after reading the poem, we will be able to read the poem, find out the difficult word and give their connotation and denotation on the context of the poem. And fourthly, after reading the poem, we will be able to discuss the summary of the poem. And fifthly, after going through the poem, after reading the poem, we will be able to read and paraphrase the poem. That means we will be able to detail analysis of the poem. And sixthly and finally, sixthly and finally, after going through the poem, we will be able to discuss the central theme of the poem. So they are learners. These are the learning outcomes we are going to pick up from the poem. September 1st, 1939. So dear learners, let's now let's discuss the poem September 1st, 1939. Before going to discuss the poem, I would like to talk about W.S. Auden. So dear learners, here W.S. for 
OS X Heave Ordain So his full name is OS X Heave Ordain He was an American poet Anglo-American poet He was born in 1907 in England and he was died in 1973 in Vienna, Austria. He was an Anglo-American poet. He became famous. He became famous for his stylistic and technical achievements and for the poems of exceptional depth and feeling. He wrote about love, war, religion, politics, and the problems of the modern man. He is a modern man. He is a modern poet. He is an English poet, different from his contemporaries. And he, is, he can be called a poet of anxiety. And he is mainly famous for his poor, poor poems. His most important poor poems are The first one is the orators. Secondly, stanza. Thirdly, new year later. Thirdly, Thirdly, new year later. Thirdly, new year later. Thirdly, new year later. And fourthly, and finally, the Oxford book of the light verse. The Oxford book of the light verse. And he is a modern poet as well as an English poet. So dear learners, find out more about Auden from Wikipedia on the internet. Now let's discuss the poem September 1st, 1939. Before going to discuss the poem, I would like to do our activity. We have to do our activity. So before going to discuss the poem, I would like to discuss understanding poetry, at first understanding poetry. Understanding poetry. So understanding poetry, so dear learners, we have to do, we have to discuss understanding poetry for better understanding the poem at first point of view. Point of view. Here point of view is the attitude of the writer or the poet or the narrator. If the narrator uses I to narrate, to describe his story, then it can be called first person point of view. Accordingly, if the narrator uses you to describe, to narrate his story, it is called the second person point of view. Similarly, if the narrator uses he, she, it, they, then it can be called third person point of view. So dear learners, point of view means it is the attitude of the writer or the poet or the narrator. So the September 1st, 1939, begins with the first person point of view. That means the poet himself describes his painful experience. Then Thorn. Here Thorn is the attitude of the writer or the poet or the narrator perceived through his words. 
the tone of a narrator can be bitter, joyful, significant, motivational, emotional, heroic and so on. So thus our poem September 1st, 90, 1939, the tone of this poem is anxiety, somber. So dear learners, tone is the attitude of the narrator perceived through his words. Then setting. Dear learners, setting means time and place. It tells us where and when action happens. For example, our poem, the September 1st, 1939, here time is September 1st, 1939, and the place is New York City. Manhattan, Midtown, Manhattan, New York City. So setting means time and place. It tells us where and when action happens. And finally, theme. So dear learners, theme means the theme is the central idea of any literary work. Central idea, the main idea of any literary, any piece of literature. The main central theme means the central theme of any literary work suggested by any suggested by any work as any work of literature as a whole. And theme may be more or one, single or double or more. Theme may be more than one. For example, the poem September 1st, 1939, here the theme is power, fear and hope. Now let's discuss our ore map activity for better understanding the poem. So dear learners, our ore map activity, ore map activity. So dear learners, at first mind mapping or brainstorming. If we mind map or brainstorm, so suppose plight of war. So plight of war. Plight means destruction, bad sides of war, destruction of war. So dear learners, if we mind map a brainstorm taking the issue plight of war from the different learners of the class, among the different learners of the class, I think uh, different learners will reply differently. Some learners standing up will reply, sir, because of war, business is dull, business is bad. So, business is bad. Some learners standing up will say, sir, because of war, only begging remains, only begging, only begging remains. Some learners will reply differently, sir, because of war, a lot of people and animals die of privation. A lot of, a lot of people and animals die of privation. Some learners standing up will reply differently. Because of war, some people become diaspora. So, some people become diaspora. Diasporas. 
So these are the scenario. These are the scenario who are causes and people suffer. Not only people but also flora and fauna. That's why our poet is uncertain and afraid. That means our poet is afraid of the future, especially because of the evils and enormous destruction of war. So war causes, these are the points. Business is dull, business is bad, only begging remains. A lot of people and animals die of privation. Some people become diaspora. So they are learners. Now, syndicate method. Now, our ORMAP activity is syndicate method. Syndicate method. So dear learners, if we do a syndicate method from the anti-war poet, novelist, or writers, or specialist, we'll see the real scenario. So Bartold, Braid, So Bartol Braid, Bartol Braid, in his famous play, Mother Curries and Her Children, Mother Curries and Her Children wrote to own the European nations against starting another world war. Similarly, our Orden, our poet Orden, wrote in his famous poem, September 1st, 1939, Uncertain and Afraid, Uncertain and Afraid. That means he is very afraid of future, especially because of the evils and enormous destruction of war. So from the syndicate method, from the analysis of the syndicate method, it can be stated that nobody wants war but peace in the world. Similarly, our poet W.S. Auden did not want to be happened another world war. That's why he is uncertain and afraid. He is afraid, he is very afraid of future, especially because of the evils and enormous destruction of war. So dear learners, now read the poem, find out the difficult word and try to gauge their meanings and synonyms. Before going to discuss the poem, I would like to talk about the title of the poem. The title of the poem, September, September 1st, 1939. This is the title of the poem, dear learners, this is the title of the poem, the name of the poem. The title refers to refers to the date when the Second World War began and Germany crossed the borders to invade Poland. So dear learners, the, the poem September 1st, 1939 refers to the date when the Second World War began or started and Germany crossed the border to invade Poland. Dear learners, it also, it also refers to, it also refers to, it also refers to the poet's emotional response to the outbreak of the Second World War. So, dear learners, the the title also refers to the poet's emotional response to the outbreak of the Second World War. So, if we look at the title of the poem, we will see that 1939. 
the 1939 is called a decade of depression and frustration. So the title also indicates indicates a decade of depression. A decade of depression. So dear learners, from the analysis of the title of the poem, it can be stated that the 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 poem September 1st, 1939, refers to not only the date when the Second World War began or started and the Germany crossed the border to invade Poland, but also the poet's emotional response to the outbreak of the Second World War. In addition, it also indicates a decade of depression or frustration. Now, read the poem, find out the difficult word, try to gauge their meanings and synonyms. So, let's read. September 1st, 1939, by W.S. Auden. I see it, one of the divers, on 52nd Street, uncertain and afraid. So, here we got, uh, so, dear learners, we are talking about connotation and denotation. See your and denotation, connotations and denotation. Here connotation means indirect meaning of a word and denotation means direct meaning of a word. Diverse and then uncertain, afraid, 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 and expire. Of a low dishonest decade, then decade. Waves of anger and fear circulate over the bride, then circulate. Darkened and darkened lines of the earth, then darkened. Darkened. Offsizing our private lives, the unmentionable order of death, often the September night, so off season. Off season and finally off end. So dear Lanas, after going through the poem, after reading the poem, we got as many as nine difficult words. Now we will give them synonyms on the context of the poems. At first, diverse. Divis here, divis means bar and uncertain, next, uncertain means not sure, not sure or insecure and so on. So the term divis means bar and the term and the word uncertain means not sure, insecure and so on. And afraid. Here afraid means terrified. Here afraid means terrified, frightened. Terrified, frightened, terror haunted, horror is taken, and so on. And then expire. Here expire means end. 
terminate finish and so on so the term expire means end terminate finish come to a close and so on then decade here decade means 10 years so here decade means 10 years and circulate and after that circulate here circulate means scatter scatter disseminate and spread so dear learners the the term circulate means scatter disseminate and spread these are the synonymous words of the term circulate then dark end after that dark end here dark end means having no light having no light or made dark so having no light or made dark is are related to the term darkened on the context of the poem and then off seizing so dear learners the term off seizing means to have something on our mind on our brain to have something on our mind on our brain so having horrors panic having sufferings tribulations fear on our mind on our brain so off seizing means and covering also also then often here often means <coughs> here often mean make a crime make a crime ba uh, commit a crime commit a crime or make offense and so on so dear lana after going through the poem we got as many as nine difficult words and we have already given this connotation and denotation on the context of the poem so dear learners now read and paraphrase the poem now read and paraphrase the poem read and paraphrase the poem read and paraphrase the read and paraphrase the poem september past 1939 by w s orden so we know very well that w s orden is a modern poet and a sense of faithlessness hopelessness disintegration existentialism alienation uncertainty insecurity etc has found artistic expression in modern poetry and was observed in every sphere of life i see it so let's read out the poem and preface i see it on one of the divers on 52nd street on saturday and afraid the the first line of the poem begins with i that means the first person point of view the poet himself is describing his painful experience the poem september past 1939 is a political elegy and full of psychological significance it reflects clearly vividly the mood of europe on the eve of the second world war so it is the 
moment of the beginning of the Second World War. The poet is sitting in Konsan, Oris and Hoves. He is sitting on 52nd state, where he sits reflecting upon the momentous and formidable event of history. He is sitting in Konsan, Oris and Hoves. He is very afraid because of future, especially because of the evils and enormous destruction of war. So, our poet is a modern poet and a sense of faithlessness, hopelessness, disintegration, existentialism, uncertainty, alienation, insecurity, etc. was observed in every sphere of life. So, these are the things that are happening in our poem, September 1939. The next line, as the clever hopes expire. There is a beautiful story. There is a very painful story behind this line. As the clever hopes expire. So dear learners, the decade of 1930s, the decade of 1930s is a decade of, is, was the nadir of history. The decade of 1930s was the nadir of history. It was a decade of shameful political compromise. The conservative government of England wanted to follow a, p a policy of appeasement towards Germany, but Churchill was against it. Winston Churchill was against it. In the First World War, Germany was subjected to so much humiliation that she wanted to re-establish a national pride. But the outbreak of the Second World War proved to be the date of this disgraceful political era and the birth of terror. More interestingly, in the First World War, the League of Nations, Vienna Conventions, both of them hoped very much to stop the war, stop another world war. But Hitler followed neither those League of Nations nor the Vienna Conventions. As a result, imperialism became a disturbing factor in the world. Class feeling became very dominant. Germany became the rival of England that bought the Second World War. So, bye-bye League of Nations, bye-bye Vienna Conventions, bye-bye European nations, by by a lot of petitions, so clever hopes expire. Of a lot of, of a low dishonest decade, then of a low dishonest decade. So dear learners, the decade of 1930s is a decade of shameful political compromise, and the na decade of 1939, 1939 is a decade of depression and frustration. So dishonest decades. So these are dishonest decades. Waves of anger and fear, waves of anger and fear circulating over the bright, darkened lands of the earth. So, waves of anger and fear, suffering, tribulations are circulating over the life of the people. Only feeling of imminent death is felt in the air, in the minds of the people. Of seizing our private lives, the unmentionable order of death. Here the unmentionable order of death means the feeling of imminent death. The of seizing our private lives and the unmentionable order of death offends the September night. So dear Lanas, the, the poet finds that all the goodness is being swept away and darkness is gradually taking place. The insecure and uncertain private lives of the people and the political machination have wide using emotional impacts. In fact, through the poem, the poet tried his utmost to sketch the real picture of the contemporary happenings and upcoming dangers. Only the feeling of imminent death is felt everywhere. A sense of faithlessness, hopelessness, disintegration, existentialism, uncertainty, alienation, insecurity, etc. was observed in every sphere of our life.
in every sphere of the in every sphere of the people lives now they are learners now paraphrase now summarize the poem now summarize the poem the poet is sitting in concern origin hope he is very afraid of future especially because of the evils and enormous destruction of war he is very he finds that all the goodness is being swept away and darkness is gradually taking place insecure and uncertain private lives of the people and the political machination have wide seeming emotional impacts actually through the poem the poet tried his utmost to sketch the real picture of the contemporary happenings and upcoming dangers and finally the central theme so dear learners now let's discuss the central theme of the poem power fear and hope power fear and hope are the central themes of the political elegy september 1st 1939 composed by w s orden the poet is sitting in concern origin hopes he is very afraid of the future especially because of the evils and enormous destruction of war he finds that all the goodness is being swept away and darkness is gradually taking place the insecure and uncertain private lives of the people and the political machination have wide reaching emotional impacts in fact through the poem the poet tried to sketch the real picture of the contemporary happenings and upcoming dangers so dear learners that's all for today thank you very much for your cooperation and coordination